turned around and it saw a, his picture in the mirror. And it stuck its head up and collared it, thought it was another pony. It left off the pile of biscuits out the right in the floor and I out. I had to get it out there about quick, you know. But mommy and him. That was the pit ponies. Yeah, that was it. Did everybody bring them in the house? No, we just when we wasn't working, maybe off on Saturday sometime, we'd bring them down there and just feed them and pet them around, you know. And the collars and the things that they wore, we didn't have no, uh, couldn't have the rig hands sticking up on them. Had to be down label, and you put a piece of leather on the top of the collar to uh, keep her head shoulders from rubbing in uh, places it's low, lower than uh, 36 inches, and it would drag your back would wore all the hair off. You put a big uh, leather streak on their back so it wouldn't rub the hairs off of them. So y'all had to crouch down too when you was in the mines? Yeah, Lord, it was, uh, well, we worked them ponies. It was about 40 inches high, tall in there. And then the old work was low, lower than that, and they would hump down, you know. <laughs> to keep them rubbing their backs in there. Did you have to wear them lights on your head? Yeah, we, uh, when we worked in, we had them carbide lights on our head. And, uh, <coughs> you didn't have kerosene lamps on your head? No, we <laughs> didn't carbide. So there weren't no lights in the mine at all. Y'all just had them on your head. Yeah, well, a uh, horse. We had uh, a light every once in a while. It's electric. We had electric 110 to 20. And we worked them old mules in there, the big mines. It was about 10, 8, 10 foot tall. And that old mule would. He's a black man worked him, and he had shocked him in there. He'd come up to a certain place, and he stalled it out. And he was, he shocked him. People say that's what created it. And he'd take a spell about every three months, and he'd just come up to that one place, and he would stop. And he would not go no more. You'd have to unhook it from that car of coal and lead it outside. And you could lead him outside, turn around, bring it back in, unhook it on it, and it would go. Hmm. Yeah, and so I even put a uh, pile of dynamite behind them and tried to scare them, make them go, and they would not go. Was, and that's what the older people say, that it's, uh, somebody done something to that new wire, and it, it think about it every once in a while, and it just, just wouldn't do it. Did you have any friends that died in the mines? Yes, yeah, same mine. It mean, uh, my brother bought a while that had them ponies. My uh, brother-in-law got killed in that. He was uh, backing the pony up to hook it to a car coal and raised up and got his back of his neck in the electric line and it broke his neck and killed him. What about the main the mines caving in on anybody? Did that ever happen when you worked the mines? Yeah, well it caved in, but it had to run. We had to. Uh, we went in there one day about twelve, about ten o'clock, when this old man told us that. Well, when we started, to, I first started working the mines. This old man told me, said we we're not allowed to kill a, a rat. These big mountain rats said they'll follow us all the way far as we go. And said they eat the scraps out of the dinner holes. And he said, Don't kill a rat. And I found out later when I went in there and he told us, said, Well, said, we better be out of here by two o'clock. And he said, Why? Well, I said, I said, he said, You see these rats going out? Said they're going to the outside. We watched them. They did. They was going out, going to the outside, walking out, running, and they knew something was going to Yeah, about 12 o'clock. He said we'd better be out by two, but 12 o'clock. 
Then that earth started to mount and started cracking and popping that rock. And them rats was running like everything. And her husband, I mean her dad and her brother was in there. I mean, we started out. We got about halfway with them carbide lights on her head. And it, it fell so hard when it fall, that rock fall, and it blow you down. The, the wind from the pressure of that rock and out of them rooms like in a house. And it, it blowed his lamp off his head. He lost his life. <laughs> <laughs> was trying to find it. We, I said, we better get out of here. And it, it'll fall so far till it hits a big old block of coal and break, let break off and then it stops. Uh, and we got out before it, it didn't fall from outside. It fell half of the way, about halfway out when we got out of there. So when y'all brought the coal out of the mines where they're like on wagons, it's like on little railroad tracks, and that's what the ponies, pit ponies pulled? Yeah, it's like a railroad track laid in there. <clears throat> Some of it we had laid in there the first beginning, made the track out two before, you know, for the wheels to roll on, mm -hmm. and had, uh, I mean, uh, black gum logs, Cut them out, get a real white, real round one, and cut them out, and knock that wheel out around so it wouldn't come off the track. You know, it's like a railroad wheel, so. and pull them out with them black gum wheels on the haul the coal out on wooden track. That's the first start. Uh,